Hey founders, this is the SaaS Boss Show, the podcast for SaaS founders in the growth stage who want to get unstuck, build high-performing teams, and get clarity about how to build a profitable startup. Every week, I interview SaaS consultants, coaches, and experts who work with dozens of startups just like yours and share their best strategies to overcome the daily challenges of growing a profitable SaaS. My name is Natalie Luniva, and I'm a growth and leadership coach to SaaS founders, and I'm also married to a SaaS founder, and I'm so pleased that you've joined us on this conversation. Hi, everyone. I wanted to quickly pop up here and share with you a quick idea about uh, improving your churn rate during these unprecedented times when um, many customers may reach out to you and ask to cancel their subscription due to um, current events and that they're not using the tool and so on. And um, I've seen a few recommendations in various communities where um, people talk about discounting their rates instead of canceling. I really believe that if someone reaching out to you and asks to cancel their subscription due to coronavirus or mentioning current um, state of economy, I would really recommend instead of discounting, just giving them the next couple of months for free, which does a few different things. Number one is it keeps the customer because it's going to be much harder for you to go back to them in two and three months and get them to resubscribe to your tool. It also shows that you are human and you are trying to help. It saves you time so that you don't need to go back two and three or four months down the road and get them to subscribe back to your tool. And in two months, hopefully they're going to stay and keep using your tool. So there are many benefits to that. I really encourage you if someone comes to you and asks to cancel the subscription, instead of canceling or discounting by like 50%, I would really recommend instead of discounting, just giving them the next couple of months for free. It's going to definitely show your human side. Hope it helps. If you have any other suggestions or how you've handled this, please reach out to me and I'll share your comment with the audience as well. And that's it for this episode. For those tech founders who have a remote team, I have a question. Do you find yourself that it's much faster for you to do things by yourself than waste all of that mental energy delegating tasks to someone and so you either don't hire anyone or if you already have a remote team, you're guilty of doing those tasks by yourself because there's just so much energy goes into delegating the tasks and then just managing people. Are you able to take a few days off and not be worried that your servers will go down or your support is going to blow up? What if you could work on more strategic, important things and let your team fix the bugs? If you only started building your team in the last couple of years, I guarantee that you are making lots of mistakes that hinder your growth without even realizing that. Oftentimes, you, the founder, may end up being the bottleneck to your team's success. That, that, that is definitely hard to swallow, but it's true. But also look on the bright side, this is also the easiest problem for you to fix because you are in control of how to fix it. I'll be launching soon a program that will help tech founders improve your team performance and as a result, remove the roadblocks to scale in your SaaS just by improving your operations and team dynamic. This is really the shortcut. To be notified when it's live, go to my website, natalieluniva.com slash team. natalieluniva.com slash team.